Hello friends, I'm Adbin Shia. Today we are going to read the Mother Tree. Study to English Unit 3. Let's start. The Mother Tree. Where are the sparrows? Where are the sparrows? They are in the nest. What are they doing? They are, yes, peeping out of the nest. What time of the day it is? Yes, it's morning. We can see a bright sun. Good morning, little birds. The name tree greeted the sparrows. What a wonderful morning. Look out. The name tree shook its branches. The birds peeped out of their nest. The sun's bright rays touched the green leaves. Where is the mother sparrow? Where is the mother sparrow? We will see. Now we know where is the mother sparrow. She is near the name tree now. I am hungry. Me too. Me too. The little sparrows cried together. I am going to fetch some fruits. Mother sparrow said, Me tree. Me tree. My children are alone. I may be late. Please take care of my children. She requested. Oh, sure. I'll take care of them. The neem tree nodded its branches. Wow. What is this? It's a beautiful valley. And it's a view from the sky. What a nice valley. Ripe fruits, red and yellow, many trees, tall and short, beautiful birds and butterflies. <coughs> ah, red cherries. Mother sparrow flew towards the cherry tree. <coughs> Hold there in the picture. Hold there. Two butterflies, a parrot and a mother sparrow. Mother Sparrow sat on a branch. It was full of red ripe cherries. Yum, yum, she swallowed a red cherry. Yum, yum, how sweet it is, the parrot said. Let me take some cherries for my children. Mother Sparrow plucked a bunch of cherries. Is Mother Sparrow happy? Is Mother Sparrow happy? Why? Yes. Why did the Mother Sparrow pluck a bunch of cherries? Yes, we, the mother sparrow had to give her children some cherries because they are hungry. What is happening? Mother sparrow is screaming. Let's read. Smoke, lots of smoke. Where is it coming from? What is happening though? The mother sparrow looked around. Parrots are flying away in fear. Animals are running here and there. Eagles are screaming and moving around in the sky. Fire! Fire! Mother Sparrow heard the cry of the birds and animals. What will Mother Sparrow do? What will Mother Sparrow do? Will she fly over the flyer and save her children? What are the animals and birds doing? They are running here and there. Are you afraid of fire? Yes. Why? It is very hot. Okay. What is Mother Sparrow doing? What is Mother Sparrow doing? Screaming? Flying? Yeah. Fire! Fire! Everywhere! To swallow everything. Oh, my children, they can't fly. How can I save my children? Mother Sparrow cried aloud. She rushed towards the neem tree. <gasps> oh, fire it is grabbing the neem tree. What will the neem tree ask to the fire to do? Okay. Will the fire do that? Let's see. 
The fire grabbed the ninja with its red hot hands. It is so hot. I'm burning up. I can't bear it. The fire began to eat up the tree. The flames climbed up and up. The birds in the nest cried aloud. Poor little birds, how can I save them? The tree thought. Oh, fire, take me. Need these little ones. The doom tree back to the fire. Sorry, I can't stop burning. The fire grew stronger and stronger. If you were the tree, what would you say? If you were the tree, what would you say? Leave me. Leave these little ones, please. Hi. Is there anyone to help the tree and the sparrows? Is there anyone? Okay, let's see what will happen. Who comes near the green tree? Who's that? It is a white thing. Yes! It's the wind. What does the tree ask the wind? Yes, please help me. Oh, the wind is down this way. Will it help me? The green tree looked at the wind hopefully. Mind the wind, please help me. Say the birds from the nest. Fire, the green tree begged to the wind. The wind blew and blew. The flames grew taller and taller. Sorry, dear, I can't help you, but I think my friends can. I'll bring them soon, said the wind and blew away. Why did the wind blew away? What? Oh, it can't. Help! He's gonna bring his friend Hobbit. Why can't the wind stop the fire? Yes, because when the wind came to the fire, the fire will grow taller and taller, right? Whom did the wind bring? Who's that, friends? A black thing, black and fluffy. Yes, it's the dark cloud. Oh, the wind is coming. What? With the dark clouds, the ninja looked up. The dark clouds were moving one after other. They moved faster towards ninja. Will the clouds stop the fire? Will they save the little birds? The ninja tree looked hopefully at the clouds. Why did the ninja tree look hopefully at the cloud? Okay. How will the clouds help the ninja tree? How will the clouds help the ninja tree? Will they spray f water? Okay. What will happen to the fire? What will happen? To see that, let's read. Is the tree happy now? Yeah. Why? The fire is gone? Hmm. A cool breeze touched the new tree. Rain started pouring down from the dark clouds. Raindrops fell on the leaves of the new tree. Water was flowing down the branches. The flames became shorter and shorter. The rain put out the fire. My dear rain, you healed my birds. The tree swayed its branches. Ah, dark clouds saved us. What will the little birds do? Will they see their mother? Yes or no? Okay. Where is 
the mother sparrow now? Where is our mother sparrow? Mm. What is the bird telling to the wind and the cloud? Mother sparrow is here. It's telling something to the wind and the cloud. What did it be? Did you see that? Let's read. Children, my children, where are you? Mother sparrow flew towards the neem tree. <coughs> the mother sparrow heard the cry of the little sparrows. She went to the nest and hugged her little ones. You saved my children. Thank you, dear neem tree, the mother bird said. No, my dear, the clouds saved your children. The mother sparrow looked at the smiling clouds. Not me, the wind brought me here. The cloud smiled and moved away. Wow, now it's a song. Trees? Oh, that's right, it's a tree song. Mean people, banyan, coconut, mango, banana, turmeric, gulmoha, eucalyptus, ashoga. Mean people, banyan, coconut, mango, banana, turmeric, gulmoha, eucalyptus, ashoga. Trees short, trees tall. Trees large, trees small, trees are homes for birds and bees. Trees can sway in the breeze. Neem, paper, banyan, coconut, mango, banana, tamarind, gulmoha, eucalyptus, ashoga. Trees large, trees small, trees cool. And clean the air, plant trees everywhere, for trees are precious, friends prayer, neem, paper, banyan, coconut, mango, banana, turmeric, gulmohal, eucalyptus, ashoga. Okay friends, now it's Time. Let's go. Hey, activity one. Did you enjoy reading the story? Here are some pictures related to the story. They are in a jumbled order. Put them in the right order. You may number them too. Select the paper events from the list given below. Write them in the boxes given below. Hey. Look at the first picture. Second picture? Okay. Mm -hmm. Then, what is the sentence? Okay. Yes, the mother sparrow is plucking a bunch of cherries. The next picture is... Hey, what are you saying? Three? Okay. What is the sentence? Right. The smoke is rising at a distance. Ta-da! Hey, here's the third picture. What? Number them? Number her? One, okay. The birds are peeping out of the nest. Correct. The last picture is four, okay. Sentence, the fire is eating up the neem tree. Correct. Let's go to the next activity. Activity 2. The little sparrow went to the valley. She saw many fruits there. Name the fruit or hidden here. The match square given below. Find them out and put them. List. And list them down. Draw their pictures and color them. Yay! You find it! Plum! 
A. What do you say? Yes, in Plum's M, there is a mango, right? What? Orange, right? Hey, hey, what are you saying? Grape? Okay, grape, grape. Okay, is it finished? No. Why? You said it. Yes, you are right. Cherry. Here are the pictures. Cherry, mango, orange, grapes, and plum. Right? Did you draw it? Yeah. Let's go. Which fruit do you like the most? What? Mango? Write a few sentences about it. I like mango. It is very tasty. It is so sweet. Its color is yellow. You need a clue? Like this. Uh, I'll give you another one. I like Chico. This is very tasty. It's so sweet. Its color is brown. Like that. Let's go to the next activity. Trees are home for many creatures. Identify the animals from the pictures that live on trees. There are some sentences about and write the sentences. In the box below, select the sentences, sentences and write them in the yellow boxes. Draw the picture of an animal or creatures, read on tree and write in sentence about it. Draw arrows as shown the first yellow box. Hey, what did you say? You can read it? Okay. Can you read the first one? Right, a monkey is on the branch of the tree. I found one, friends. <laughs> a squirrel is on the tree. <laughs> yes, a nest is on the branch of the tree. What? A worm? Is on the tree leaf. That it is sitting on a branch of the tree is my favorite. Okay. And let's see the next. Activity 4. Look at the picture. The forest is on fire. Which animals and birds are there in the picture? Can you see an eagle in it? Yes. Read the thoughts of eagle given below. I look down. Smoke. It is growing bigger and bigger. Fire. The flames are rising higher and higher. They are eating up the trees and the grass. The animals are... Birds are crying. Their cries are becoming louder and louder. What are the animals and birds doing? Select a word from the box given below and complete the sentences. Parrots are jumping? No, 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 no. What? That's right. Flying. The elephants are hopping? No. Flying? No. Jumping? Crawling? Who can say? Yes, he say. Walking, correct. Snake is crawling. Monkeys are jumping. The rabbit is hopping. Children, would you like to know what happened to the forest after the fire? Read the paragraph and complete it using the words given below. Let's see. Leaves burst. It started to rain. 
trees became taller and taller. The new tree was again full of green leaves. Day by day, the leaves grew larger and larger. The vines spread higher and higher. The ponds were filled with water and became deeper and deeper. The little birds grew bigger and bigger. The birds and animals were happy thereafter. <laughs> now let's see what it is. Mother, mother, they cried aloud. But Mother Sparrow had not yet returned. The little birds were afraid. What did they think? Write the thoughts of the little birds. Here's mine. <coughs> Thoughts of the little birds. Mother is not here. What shall I do now? I'm hungry. Will our mother come now? She's getting late. We are hungry. Is that our mother? Oh, that wasn't our mom. Did you? Did our mother get food? I want to sing that song. Mommy, mommy, we are hungry. <laughs> it was a comedy one. Thank you. You have to take seven. The wind called, went to call the clouds for help. What did he say to the clouds? What was the clouds reply? Write the conversation between the wind and the cloud. Oh friend, please come with me. Where are we going to? To the forest. What happened there? There is a fire in the main tree. Oh, then let's go there. Okay, let's go. Now this is your project. There are so many trees around us. Name some of them and cut its leaves and write their names. You can make a leaf album out of that. And we can see some pictures here. Hey, you're saying it. That's correct. Yes, the first one is mango tree leaf. Next, people tree leaf. Go out to leaf. Draw pictures of leaves and write the names of trees. I gave one. Banana tree leaf. Yes. And a olive tree leaf. Okay. Now, here is the story for you. Baby bird. Hey, look, a little bird. One day, Manu and Amu were playing near their house. Manu caged the bird. He kept the kid near the friend window. You stay here, dear. The father bird and the mother bird flew towards the cage. It's our little one's cry. The mother bird and the father bird came with their friends. We're here to help you. The birds flew up with the cage. They saw a rat hole near the bush. Our friend rat will help us. Please save our baby. They kept the cage and the rat hole. A rat keeps them from the heart. Don't worry, I'll help you. The rat cut the cage with its sharp teeth. The little bird came out of the cage. It flew up. The bird stung the rat and gave some cherries. Oh dear, we got you back. Now, I know. I know the characters in the story. I can draw them. I can understand their feeling. I can match the characters with the dialogues. Wind? I'll bring my friend soon. Fire. Sorry, I can't stop burning. Eagle. 
Fire, fire! Little spiders, we are hungry. I need to eat. Oh, fire, eat me. Leave these little ones. What about mother sparrow? Please take care of my children. What about the clouds? The wind brought me here. Hey, our little sparrows are saying something here. Bye, dear friends. And don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching, friends. Subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you.